Hey guys, my name is Jay and in this video I'm going to show you how to create three types of forms. Contact form, appointment form, and conditional form. That's it. Very useful. So, let's go. Okay, now I want to show you which plugins I use for my forms in WordPress. Contact Form 7, I think, is the best plugin uh, for simple forms in WordPress. And when I say simple, it's like, let's say uh, you want a form to send like the name, email, maybe a message, some options and stuff like that. If you want to uh, create an appointment form, you just need to add uh, the date picker for contact form 7. It's like some kind of extension for contact form 7 and you will have the option to choose the date and the time. If you want conditional forms, I use Caldera Forms. It's a very easy drag and drop. Uh, um, you know, like a, uh, it's like like page builders in WordPress, but this one is for forms. Very user friendly, very easy to understand. Uh, but if you don't need Caldera Forms, you know, if if you don't need it, don't use it because it's a little bit more heavy. So if you are creating simple forms, uh, you can use contact form 7, it's very light. And when I say light, is is um, you know, your website will run faster because Caldera forms is, you know, it have a lot of options, a lot of programming on the back running. So it's going to be a little bit heavy. I just want to throw that in there for you so you can, you know, because I know you want to, you're going to say like, why you don't use Caldera Forms for all your forms then? Because you can. Yeah, it's true. But it's a little bit more heavy. So if I don't need conditional forms, I don't use it, right? I just stay with my uh, Contact Form 7. It's very easy and it's simple, basic and very light, okay? Now, let's go and add a very, very basic form right here in my homepage. By the way, this is this website is done using uh, the DV theme. You can click there to watch the video. For me, is the best theme for WordPress. So go there and watch it. Let's go and add a uh, form right here using Contact Form Seven. So I have it. I have the form uh, Contact Form right here already installed. And I have uh, Caldera Forms too. So I'm going to click there. Okay, uh, it comes when you install uh, Contact Form 7. It comes with it with this form right here. So I'm going to click Edit. And in here you can see they already have like your name with a uh, short code, uh, your email, subject, message, and submit, the submit button, right? Let's see how this looks. I'm just gonna copy and paste this uh, short code right, he right here. It's a copy this short code and paste it to your post page or widget. Awesome, copy. I'm gonna go to my homepage, edit homepage. All right, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna paste it right there. All right, let's update. Okay, let's see how it looks. And there you go. We have the form right here already done for us. It works. Everything is working right now. But I know it looks like weird, right? Like um, no style. You know, it's a little bit ugly, right? So the thing is that each theme has their own style, their own CSS. Um, if you don't know about CSS, um, you can go and learn it, but there's a lot of themes that when you add forms, they already have the style. So this is not going to happen. But if this happened, you need to know a little bit you know, about CSS so you can style this. But now this theme have some CSS, so I can uh, go there, add some code 
and it's gonna look a little bit you know, better. So I have the code right here in my notes, right here. I have this simple div class with a class right there. Um, and I'm just, I'm just gonna go to my contact. I'm gonna put it right here. Maybe you, you don't have to do this, okay? Maybe you don't, maybe you have to. Of course, it's not gonna be this code, it's not gonna be this class, but it's gonna be something similar, right? So I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it right here. All right, let's see how it looks now. Awesome, that's a lot better, right? Now I wanna add another field and convert this form to an appointment form. So I need to add a date field, date and time field. So that's super easy to do. Remember, you have to install the uh, contact form seven date picker. Um, so you will have this option right here that says date, time, date or time. All right. So let's say I want a uh, I have your name. I want to add a field of your last name right here. So I'm going to click on this button right here, text. All right, I'm, I'm just going to change this name to last name. It's required. Um, I, we can leave everything like that. Actually, you can use a placeholder. Let's use a placeholder so you can see how it works, All right? Use this text as a placeholder. Okay. We have the code right here. Play insert tag. Awesome. We have the code. Uh, now I need a label. I can just copy this one, paste it right here. Your last name. Awesome. All right. Now I want to add a date and time field. Um, let's see where we can add it. Uh, maybe right here. Um, yeah, right there. So let's click on date and the date time button. And you will have all these options right here, right? Required, class size, uh, the date format, uh, time format, minimum hour, minimum, all this stuff. You can go and play with this first day, is Sunday or it's Monday. All right, year, uh, year range, month. A couple options, right? Uh, the placeholder. Okay, so we have the code right here. I'm actually gonna leave everything like that. Let's click require field, right? All right, I'm just gonna copy. Actually, I'm gonna click on insert tag, sorry. You can copy and copy and paste the short code too, but just click insert tag. I'm gonna copy uh, another label. I don't know, let's put date, for example, and the code right there. All right, save. Let's see how it looks. All right, so we got a last name field. As you can see, we have a placeholder that I added just because I wanted to show you that you can add uh, placeholders. And we have here a new field of date. Let's click on it and look at this beauty. Look at this. So you can choose the hour and minutes right there. Let's choose the day, hours and minutes. But I want to change this time to like a.m. and p.m., right? Because people is going to get confused. Now, to do that, I just found a code. Um, that we have to change actually if you if you take a look at the short code it says time format hour hour minute minute right so i just search a little bit and i found this code so it said time format hour hour minute minute time time All right let's copy don't worry i'm gonna call i'm gonna add that code into the comments below so you can copy and paste it. All right, let's go here and let's just replace it for this one. All right, let's save it. And now let's see. All 
awesome now we now we have the you know am and pm perfect done and everything is right there now i want to create a conditional form okay so i'm gonna go to caldera forms right here i'm gonna go to forms and I already created uh, a very basic uh, quote form. Let's say, uh, just uh, let's say that someone needs a quote for a website. I created something very basic, quick, because I don't want to be here too long. But it's very easy. This is drag and drop. Okay, guys, this is drag and drop. Look, I just added a name field, country, and state. And then I added a next, bu next button. You can create pages. Then on the second page, name of, of the project and more details. And then the submit button. That simple. You can add more pages. I don't know if they have a limit of how many pages you can have in the form. But I think uh, you can have like an unlimited. All right. So this is easy. You can just click here, drag and drop, for example. And here you have all the options. Buttons, checkbox, drop down, email, file, all these things right here uh, they have the date pickers everything they have everything here right now here's here is the deal I have a country uh, field I'm gonna click on this pencil right here I'm gonna drop down here on these options and here I have my options I have United States and India why India because I have really good friends in India so I just added India for this video. And here's the deal. If I click on India, I actually don't need state. Because in this uh, drop down list, I have all the states of, of the United States. Right? It doesn't make sense if I click, if I choose India and I have to choose a state, right? So what I want is, if you click on India, if you choose India, this field needs to disappear, okay? It needs to hide or whatever, or disable or something. Now, I will click on conditions right here, and I have already one condition. I'm gonna click on it. All right, so I just, Put a name. Now, what I want to do is hide. You have these options. You, you, have, you can show or you can disable, right? I want to hide the field. Which field I want to hide? State. So I check the state. That's what I want to hide. And now, this is the condition. If, and you can choose right here, if country is you can choose right here is not, greater than, less than, all these options, is India, this is going to happen, okay, it's going to hide the state, perfect, that's what I want, all right, so, as you can see, it's very easy, it have a, a lot of options, you can go there and play with them, I'm not going to show you everything, I just wanted to show you the basics and how conditional forms works, they are very interesting and, and, and super uh, useful. So what I want to do, I'm going to go to my contact page. I want to add the form right here. To see if it works. And it's super easy, right? They have the button right here. So you can just click there. You're gonna have right here the list of your forms. I hope I have only one, and the name is quote. You can actually set as a modal. I, I don't want a modal. I wanna I want the form right there in the page. So I'm gonna click on it, insert form. All right, so the form is right there now. Let's see how it looks. Awesome. It looks beautiful. So let's say. Um, my name, I have United States, right? I can choose uh, whatever, um, not whatever, I'm gonna choose uh, 
Florida because I am in Orlando, Florida. So, all right, and now I can click next and look at this. This is the other page, the name of the name of the project, right? Uh, my project, and I need a website with one million pages in one week one week all right so let's say that's it they click submit and you receive the email that's it now let's go back let me refresh this page all right i'm gonna choose now my name but i'm gonna choose india now it's supposed to um if i choose india this field have to disappear right it needs to hide all right let's do it look at that that's awesome that's like magic right click next and that's it that that easy guys is that easy and actually i use i use uh caldera forms for a lot of uh quote uh forms for different clients and it works like a charm that was awesome right if you have questions comment below if you want to keep learning subscribe i'm doing one video every week okay so thank you for watching guys and have an awesome day